morning, everyone. It is great to be back on the water. It's been about six weeks since I've been out here. Uh, when we had the hurt, or the excuse me, the tornado here at the lake, and the lake was flooded over seven feet, so I, boat ramps closed. Well, they have two ramps open right now. Another one opening this morning at eight, and then on Wednesday two more ramps. So it's good to be out here taking the lund out. I'm gonna go look for some crappie. It should be out here between 18, 30 feet because of the water temperature. We're you know, mid-July right now, so um, we're going to go out and find them. Either way, it's going to be a great day on the water. I'm, I've missed it. I think I'm an addict. Sun's just coming up. It's going to be hot, though. That's why I'm starting early. It's supposed to be around 101 today. Heat index around 110, 111. And I even brought the big hat for when the... The big hat for when the, it gets too hot. But i got to be off this water by no later than noon but I'm hoping by 11, so I'm gonna go out and catch some groceries, catch a couple crappie. There's one. I don't know if he's gonna be a keeper. I think he's gonna be just under, I think he's gonna be about nine inches, let's see. Ooh, he's about a sixteenth of an inch under. All right, lucky day. But there's probably eight or ten more down there on this tree. And I'm using the Thump Detective crappie stick. This is the nine and a half footer. Now they have two new ones that just came out, 11 and a half and a 13 and a half. And I'm, um, hopefully I'll get those any day now. Great backbone, love it. It's a purple rod, made locally here in the Dallas area. And the jig, I'm just using a small little hair jig. This time of year, they're either gonna want that fresh meat, that minnow, or a very small jig. And so the jig I'm using is just a Lone Star crappie, uh, a jig from Lone Star Crappie Jigs. Just a tiny little hand tied. Anything this time of year that doesn't seem on this lake that they want anything big. So either live minnows or a very small jig. So I'm using the jig today. There we go. Keeper. Just a 12 inch fish, 12 inch crappie. That's how we do it. There we go. It's a nice crappie. Close to 12 inch. On the Lone Star crappie jig. Just a small little hand tie. There's several down there. Let's see if we can keep picking them off. There we go. Oh, flipping them in with the Thump Detective TTD crappie sticks. Another keeper on the jig from Lone Star Crappie Jigs. Nope, that one was just a hair under. Good thing I checked him. Good thing I checked him. the tree. Slowly raise. Too small.
There's another one. This one might be better. Yeah, this one's a keeper. All right. They're loving this jig today. Earlier this morning, I couldn't get things to the live minnows, jig. I found the right spot. So he's almost 11 inches. Going home with some organic groceries. There's another one. Man, this tree's loaded with them. 12 inch crappie, maybe close to 13. that jig in his mouth right in the roof of his mouth he wasn't coming off was he well having trouble with pliers getting him out All right, let's do it again because there is a lot down there. Ah, I missed that one. Ooh, that was a good one, too. No one as soon as it got there. Man, this is a this tree is loaded. Another 12 inch crappie. They're loving that jig. This is really good fishing right here on this one tree. There's another one. Another keeper. Boat flipping them in with the thump detector crappie sticks. Look at that. This is a great tree right here. I gotta tell you, it's a great, that's a great jig. They love it. Nice crappie. Man, <laughs> it's a great day. I love it. Drop it down as soon as it gets there, they hit it. There's no crappie never line, it's just the straight jig. That's it. Little one. Too small. All right, I think I, I think I wore this tree out. I caught, I don't know, six or so really quick right there. 
there's still more there, but they're not wanting to play. I'm going to go deeper here just to try something. Because I've been picking them from the top of the tree. So let me look at the ones at the bottom and see if they'll bite. That's the thing is you always want to start at the top. You don't want to work your way at the start at the bottom, even though there may be bigger fish there. Because as you bring that fish from the bottom up through the top, it's going to spook those other fish. So start at the top, work your way down. There we go. There's another good one. Come on in. Come on in. All right, another keeper, another 11 inch crappie. All right, I lied, 10 and a half inch. But it's the groceries that I was looking for. All right, everybody, that is it for the day. Uh, caught quite a bit of crappie using the Thump Detective crappie sticks, the 9.6. Again, remember they have the 11.6 and the 13.6. And the jig I'm using, and they tore it up today. It's a jig from Lone Star Crappie Jig, just a small little 16th ounce. Little hand tied, and, and it worked great today. The one tree was really good. The one tree, I think I caught seven off the one tree. And every time I dropped it, I mean, they were hitting it right away. So that worked really good. But that is it. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you liked it, if you want to hear some more tips, hit that like and subscribe. We appreciate it. Leave a comment. I'll get back to you on whatever you ask, all right? Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Everybody, at the end of our shows, uh, we like to do a short devotional. We don't do it all the time, but um, uh, we try to do as much as we can. But there's something I want to share with you. Uh, so uh, about two weeks ago, I was watching cable news. I know that can be a bad thing, right? Because it's very divisive. It tries to pit one side against the other. Well, I was in a bad mood after watching it, and I started to pray uh, for Christ to, to come and take us home, right? Take us to heaven, because I was tired of what was going on here on earth. Um, and then just this past week, again, there was a, something else where someone tried to assassinate Trump. And so the world is in a lot of, the world has a lot of issues. But anyways, so I started praying that Christ would return. Well, the next day at church, uh, two people were baptized, and it immediately got me thinking, man, that was pretty selfish of me that had Christ returned when I wanted him to on my timetable, those people wouldn't have been saved. Uh, and then I started thinking, well, how many other thousands of people that day across the world were saved that that wouldn't have been had, had Christ come when I said I wanted him to? So, you know, we don't know when he's going to return. It could be long after I'm gone. It could be right now. You never know. I had a bite. I'm sorry. You never know when he's gonna when he's gonna return. But in the meantime, Matthew 28:19, uh, Jesus says, uh, "Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit." So, until he does return, our our job is clear. We were uh, told what to do, and that's to to tell people about Christ and make disciples. So that's what we need to do. That's what I'm going to try and do more. And it can be something as simple as it, it, you don't have to be on a street corner holding a sign saying, yelling, you're a sinner. That's going to turn people off more than that's, that's not the way to go about it. It can start with just having a conversation with your coworker or your neighbor and then letting them see how you react to things in life. And if they see that peace in you, then you can start talking to them about Christ. So that's my prayer for you. And if you don't know Christ yet uh, as your Savior, I pray that uh, you would accept him. But in the meantime, we can keep praying for this country. It needs it. Our leaders need it. So that's, that's what we can do right now. Just pray. All right. Thank you, guys. God bless.